I'm Dr. Cheryl Paul, and I'm the Assistant Vice President for K-12 Educational Development Team at GCE. I think as I reflect back on all of my years in the public sector and hopefully teaching and modeling character education, one of the most significant ways was just through questioning. Sometimes we think character education is this big and bodacious thing when, quite frankly, it's very simple. It's, it's being kind to one another and it's aspiring for a more compassionate and empathetic society. So I lead lots of times by just asking questions. How did that make you feel when you shared that toy? How did that make you feel when you were excluded from that overnighter or that birthday party? It's really asking questions and get the onus on the individual so that they aspire to have those good character traits. And then we continue to elevate and reinforce those traits that are in them already. They just need to be enhanced. As a former superintendent, some practical applications was truly identifying the students that were in our system that were currently in foster care and ensuring that we could provide them with suitcases. As a student and a product of the foster care, when you travel from one foster home to an interim home or to another foster home, you do so by way of a big black garbage bag. So in order to elevate and cultivate dignity and respect for each student, want to make sure that every single student has their own traveling suitcase so that they see it as an opportunity rather than something that's happening to them. I think starting with character education in the classroom, it's first identifying what is it? Because it's self-discipline, it's being resilient, it's being courageous, it's showing respect, it's showing responsibility. So really identifying it and then describing it in age-appropriate language and also bringing the parents in and the community right away when you're doing this so that there's a line of sight and that all stakeholders that are involved in upbringing that child or that classroom are involved in consistently giving the same messages. I hope that all educators throughout all K-12 ecosystems are encouraging, teaching, enhancing, and reinforcing character education. And I think one way to do it is simply to reinforce those beautiful characters that we see day in and day out demonstrated by students, whether it's sharing or outreach with compassion or empathy or demonstrating courage by sticking up for someone when they know something is being said or being done that's unacceptable. On a personal level with our six grandkids, it's modeling for them just compassion, empathy, and for everyone day to day. It's constantly really looking for those open doors and those needs and meeting those needs, meeting people where they are. I hope that I demonstrate good character day in and day out. That is always my prayer. Mm -hmm.